So now it'll be the four hole hitter Travis Shaw. He's batting clean up in this one but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Lucas Giolito is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Giolito. And now the first pitch. Shaw connects. This is sent to deep right field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run there for Travis Shaw number 10 for him on the year and the Brewers take a two to one lead. That one definitely seems worth taking a look at with show track. It wasn't a particularly deep home run but as you can see he connected pretty well 110 miles an hour off the bat and it got out of here in a hurry. So now to the plate Billy McKinney as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one 0 for one with a run batted in thus far. The 1 0 home. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Into the corner and slicing foul. When a pitcher puts you in a proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. The next one two pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Digging in now for the Brewers Narvaez flew out last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. You know because this is just a one run game. This doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. 2 0 now. Now the pitch. 3 0 now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he goes with the slider here as that misses in tight. It's ball four. Now batting the center fielder. Tyrone. Up next, Tyrone Taylor. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there, strike one. Narvaez, base runner at first with one out. Fastball called for strike two. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2 but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Here comes the one two reined in one there relay to first in time and just like that the side is retired. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Get up and stretch. Two to one Milwaukee. I'm with it. I'm with it. I get it. I get it. I got it. I got it. I'm good. Bottom of the inning now. And here comes the first baseman, Rowdy Tellers. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run. Just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. Ball one to start the at bat. 
the 1 0. And it's fouled away. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here comes the 1 2. Fouled away. Fouled off. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. Wow, when I heard that and saw it leave his bat, I thought we were going to be all tied up. But it just didn't have enough to get out of here, so he's going to have to settle for a double. Tying run on second, and now things are officially getting interesting. Into the box now, JT Realmuto as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ball one. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Can't connect there. It's two and two. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Softly to the right side, should get the runner to third. Fielded cleanly, throws in time, and that's out number one. Gene Story will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Five homers, nine driven in. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Hard hit ball to second. And a base hit as that'll score the runner from third and tie our ball game at two apiece. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles. Blake now Willie Castro as he will line this one into right center and this is going to get down and should be extra bases story rounds third and is digging for the plate he scores as it's now a 3 2 ball game boy those have to feel really good D -Row. you get late in the game you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead yeah no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning you want to show up when the game is on the line can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Justin Topa is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Austin Hedges is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Stepping in now, Joaquin Dias. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And goodbye, this one ain't coming back. Yeah. 
So a two-run shot to left center. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. That's why you got to pay attention in the on-deck circle. He was calibrating his heater right there, checking out the off-speed stuff, and he didn't wait around. First time he's seeing him, didn't matter. He took him deep. Next, it'll be Alec Bohm. And then after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. To the plate now, Eloy Jimenez. Now a check swing, appeal to first, and the umpire Jerry Hillsdale says he went around for strike one. Oh one, here's the pitch. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Bohm stands at first with one out. Chased a sinker outside the strike zone. One and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And this is lifted in the air out to left. McKinney will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. So now here is Giancarlo Stanton. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And now the first pitch as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Four runs here in this half inning. Too much dip on the sinker laid off for a ball. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Line toward the gap in left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Boy, d -Row, there's a case of the outfield defense playing so deep that that ball looked like it was extra bases all the way, but they were able to cut it off. Yeah, not too many times I would agree. I, I, I'd love to hear your take on this as well. The no doubles defense, I, I kind of never understood it to begin with. I felt like the pitcher, if he can execute the game plan, could keep the ball in front of the outfielders, but right there. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Nine men come to the plate. Four score. Eighth inning coming up. The Phillies lead this one five to two. Diego Castillo will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Now into the box, Tim Lopes. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. 
Hey, excellent job right there, leading off the no, inning man. with a base hit. We got to keep this Ball line team. moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Standing in now, Austin Hedges. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Ready with the 0 1. And here's a sinker that causes him to back away as that just about got him. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ballgame. The 1 1. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. And he fouls this one off. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Ready with another 2 2. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, when you go with a the slider there in a full count, you're hoping wow. that the hitter is thinking oh, fastball yeah. and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. So next to hit is Bob Montes. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Boy, the Brewers haven't done much up to this point. They need to get something going, and they need to get it going right now. Into right field, that's a base hit. The throw home. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. He's trying his hardest to help his guys get back into the game, but this time he had no shot. Applaud the hustle, but the decision was a costly one. Colton Wong will stand in as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So it's a three run shot to straightaway right field. And just like that, this ball game is all tied. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing, and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Devin Williams gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. Your attention, please. Now, So now to the plate, Ryan Mountcastle. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now here's the pitch. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. And no call on the screwball there, so the count moves to one and two now. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Takes this the other way to right. 
And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. I mean, that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0-2, no First put away base. pitch, works Bradley. the count back to neutral, and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. At the plate, Travis Shaw. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Now the 1 0. Well, you see this a lot. A guy comes out of the bullpen throwing bullets, but he has a tough time finding the zone. Trust me. Velocity is a great weapon if the hitters are tempted to swing. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Strike called, now the throw down. Not every catcher could make that throw, so that was pretty special. Benito Santiago made throwing from his knees famous when he was playing, but it's a really tough one to pull off. That's a long throw without any legs underneath it, so hats off to him on that one. Here's the 2 1. Lays off, ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. The left field, number 11, Billy. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and in to hit next, the speedy Billy McKinney. From the stretch. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back but he does so too late it's strike one. And he takes this one high one and one. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. Ready with the two one. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. The three in the inning for the Brewers on the strength of this three-run home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. All even at five apiece. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Evan Marshall is on to take over on the mound now and he'll take over the cleanup spot in the lineup following the double switch. Luis Urias is into the ball game as well as a part of that aforementioned double switch as he'll take over in the number six spot in the lineup. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. First pitch of the A.B. now. Put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. As mentioned earlier in the broadcast, this game has the potential to result in a series sweep, but of course, with a tie game on our hands, that is no foregone conclusion. Never easy to sweep. This is one of those teeter-totter games back and forth, back and forth as we're tied going into the back end of this game right now. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Oh, definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full 3-2. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup or do you stay with the heater? And it's fouled away. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting. So the next to bat will be JT Realmuto. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. 
First pitch on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Taylor calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Keston Hiura gets the call as a pinch hitter, and he'll get a chance with two out and the bases empty. He's set and the pitch. He'll enter play here at an even 250, two home runs, and six RBIs. sharply on the ground and that finds its way through for a base hit. Boy just when you're looking for one of those shutdown innings you get two quick outs okay. D-roll then Number give nine. up a two out base Second hit base extend man. the inning. Yeah you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to oh. give away an A-B no chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at bat every plate appearance. Nice job maybe a little two out lightning start. In now, Willie Castro, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ball game. Not close. It's two and zero. Oh. He's gone back to back with off speed stuff to start this AB, and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge him. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Looking up is the right fielder. Gone! A two run shot that gives them the lead. A two run blast to straightaway right field as they've taken a two run lead. I know height sights 2020 but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget he homered yesterday so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Into the box Joaquin yeah. Dias fouled away. He's got two hits in four at bats. Set. Here's the 0-1. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. The Brewers entered the day looking to wrap up a big series sweep, but it's going to take some late game heroics in order to make that a reality. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Into the box now, Alec Bohm. As he'll take a look at ball one. And for the opposition, finishing this one off and salvaging a win in the series will sort of allow them to at least save a little face here at home. No doubt about it. The last thing you want to do is get beat around in your own backyard. You want to make your home ballpark a winning ballpark. So winning this one and avoiding the sweep could be just what the doctor ordered. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. The two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Last chance coming up for the Brewers. It's now seven to five.
Roberto really Ozuna to comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here Roberto. in the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one and set to go as the third baseman Luis Urias looks like a tall order trying to tie or take the lead against this guy who leads the league and saves no balls in one strike. Here comes the 0 1 fouled off. The 0 2 pitch off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Great job right there. Scrambling a nasty breaking ball off the plate. Even count two balls and two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he's holding down the top spot in the circuit here for the month of June. Next up is Tyrone Taylor. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now this guy's got some of the nastiest stuff in the game. It is absolutely no fun for an offense to try and piece together any type of attack when he's throwing this stuff one out nobody on one and two now is that one's fouled off and he fouls this one off one two is the cut fastball but he holds back two and two and it's fouled away. This is foul right side. The 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Standing in now, Tim Lopes. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Comes set with the 0 1. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. Big velocity up and in for strike two. Mm -hmm. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. This was a fun game to watch all the way around. There was lots of action, 12 total runs scored on the board, and a pretty close finish to boot. 7 to 5, how today's comes to an end. Philadelphia put up four runs in the seventh to carry them to victory. Devin Williams claims the win out of the pen, his first. Roberto Ozuna retires the side to hammer down the save, his 27th of the campaign. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com.